Welcome, Taylor. That was a tough fight and an important win for Team World. Um, please give us your thoughts on the uh, match against Alexander Sparrow. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it's a really good match. I played pretty well for, for the most part. A lot, of, a lot of really good games, a lot of really good points where I dug out a lot of balls, played good defense, and yeah, I mean, I'm super happy, super happy with how I played. You said you improved a lot with your movement. Um, where exactly you see yourself faster? I don't know, after finishing the shot, after all together connecting the shots? I'm not sure. I think, you know, I, I don't think I necessarily think recently I'm moving a lot better. I think, you know, over the past, you know, two years or so, I've improved a lot my movement. And, you know, I mean, Maybe you know some people are saying they think I'm moving better now. I, I'm not. I'm not sure, but definitely just that. I think it's more that like first step, getting going and and getting to the balls, sliding sliding into them. I think uh, it's a uh, it's a lot better. I'm definitely maybe feeling a bit more explosive. It seems like you have also brought a lot more variability into your game in the past, yeah, months or years. Is that also a key to success, especially against Alexander Zverev, who likes to play the rallies from the baseline? Yeah, I mean, to be, I mean, I love, I love to play rallies from the baseline too. I think a lot of the times that we've played, it is very just linear, like ball striking. I think it was a lot of that at at Wimbledon. I think that's fine when it's on, you know, conditions like Wimbledon. I think when we're playing on a court like this, where it's very slow and you can't just finish points by just hitting through people all the time. I think that's when, uh, you know, I get a chance to really show, you know, what I've been working on for years, the finishing some points with drop shots, uh, finishing some points at net. I think, you know, you, I really get to, I guess, use those parts of my game a bit more when I am playing on a court like this where, yeah, you can't just hit through people. Taylor, I have one more question. You were guest and nothing major. You <laughs> and you told that after 10 days after US Open, you had a really bad habits. What does it mean for a professional athlete to have a bad habits? It's a and yeah. what kind of video game you can play 12 hours? Yeah, so, yeah, 12 hours, maybe 12 hours, maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but um, yeah, it's 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 easy when I'm talking on the podcast with those guys to forget that it's actually an interview. I'm just talking very casually, but. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was funny. I think some, I think <laughs> maybe people took it the wrong way that I was like doing that because I was sad or something. I'm doing it because that's that's what I do when I when I get time off. You know, when I'm at tournaments for a couple of weeks, I'm so focused and locked in, and like I'm I'm very like just focused on everything. I'm like a different person. So when I uh, am finally back home for a bit, I need that mental like it, it's more of a, a mental thing to like refresh myself and yeah I just like I like to maybe not not eat so healthy for two or three days and uh, my sleep schedule is just whenever I just sleep when I feel like it and wake up when I feel like it and and just yeah play play video games relax and that's that's kind of what makes me feel ready and motivated to get back out and start working really hard again and start getting into my processes and, and, and doing what I do. So, um, yeah, it, it, maybe it sounds bad, but it's it's part of, you know, part of what works for me. Teddy, you and um, Sasha pretty much alternated. Yeah. Win, win, <laughs> yeah. But now you use three in a row for you. Um, any particular pinpoint, any reason? Why it's th you've got three in a row on him now? I mean, I, I I just I've played I've played well, you know. I think I think at the Open he he didn't play he didn't play his best, and I mean today today I played a good match at the Open I played a good match, so um, I I don't see why it <laughs> like it wouldn't go back to potentially us going one 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 one. You know, I I don't think there's any specific reason other than I've just I've I've played a couple of I've played a couple of good matches I think you know 
over the years, uh, we've always had close matches. I think uh, the the games match up well. Um, you know, I can I can serve and and hang in there with my serve because he's you know he's very tough to break. You have to have a good serve to stay in the matches with him, or else he's just going to serve you out of the match. And his backhand's incredibly good. I think my backhand's my stronger side too so i feel like maybe i can neutralize and hang with him on on that side where maybe some people wouldn't be able to stay in the pattern but yeah i mean the biggest thing is i've just I've just been playing well taylor i know we don't know the lineup yet but can you talk about how pumped you'll be tomorrow if you compete for three points and, and what it'll, it'll mean for the three peat yeah i'm i'm excited for tomorrow obviously especially i mean francis and i especially after after the way both of us uh played today we were talking about we played both of us played some really good tennis today, so we're excited because day three is really what it's what it's all about. You know, you can you can literally lose every single match, but win all your day three matches and 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 win. So um, it it really comes down to tomorrow. You talked about the U.S. Open final a few minutes ago. Which feeling does prevail right now? Happiness that you made it to the final, or still the disappointment? I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm still. No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I made it to the final. It's, you know, you take a step back and look at. Um, for my year, puts me in a great spot for the, for the race. Puts me in a great spot for the, for the rankings. And yeah, I mean, I can't sit on it for too long. It's important that I, that I, bu that I build off of it. That's why I'm really happy that I, came out today, played a, played a great match, and, you know, I'm always, I'm always going to look back at it and be disappointed and not disappointed because necessarily because I lost, just disappointed because I think that um, I, I, I could have played a lot better at times. That seems weird. Thank you for Thank coming. You.